Welcome to the Big Data and Hadoop tutorial series presented by Coso IT. In this lecture video, we are going to focus on Impala. In this video, we are going to talk about Impala overview. Why Impala? We'll see the difference between Hive and Impala. Then we'll be talking about Impala architecture and some of its shell commands. Finally, we'll be doing one hands-on exercise on how to create a table in Impala. So Impala is an open source SQL engine for Hadoop and it's a massive parallel processing SQL query engine for processing huge volumes of data that is stored in Hadoop cluster. So it's an open source software under Apache and it's written in C++ and Java. It also provides high performance and low latency compared to other SQL engines for Hadoop like Hive. Impala uses the same metadata SQL syntax like HiveQL, ODBC driver and user interface UBs, WAX as Apache Hive. And it provides a familiar and unified platform for batch oriented and real time queries. So why Impala? It enables users to query low latency SQL data from HDFS and Apache Edgebase without causing any data movement or transformation. So with Impala, users can easily communicate with HDFS or HBase using SQL queries in a faster way as compared to other SQL engines like Hive. Impala also supports in-memory data processing, that is it can access data that is stored on Hadoop data nodes without any data movement. And Impala can read almost all the file formats such as Parkey, Evero RC file that are used by Hadoop. SQL capabilities of Impala such as filtering, calculating, uh, sorting and formatting, they really let you perform the operations in Impala. Hive is quite similar to Impala, let's see some of the differences. Hive was originally developed by Facebook that was around 2007. And Impala was developed by Cloudera that was around 2012. Hive is an open source Apache project. Impala is still in incubating stage. Hive is a high level abstraction layer on top of MapReduce and Apache Spark. While Impala is a high performance dedicated SQL engine. Hive uses HiveQL while Impala uses Impala SQL. Hive is suitable for only structured data and Impala is designed for high concurrency and ad hoc queries. Fast response for queries enables interactive exploration and fine tuning of analytic queries. Let us see Impala architecture. Impala server is a distributed massive parallel processing database engine. It consists of different daemon processes that run on specific hosts within your CDH cluster. So it has mainly three components, Impala Daemon, Impala D, Impala State Store, and Impala Metadata or Metastore. The core Impala component is a daemon process that runs on each data node of the cluster, physically represented by the Impala D process. Impala daemons are in constant communication with the state store to confirm which nodes are healthy and can accept new work. So Impala state store is responsible for checking the health of each Impala D. Finally, the metadata information stored in a centralized database is known as the metastore or the Impala metadata. Let us see some of the Impala shell commands. To start Impala shell, you type the command Impala dash shell. Now if you want to check all options of Impala using help option, you will say Impala shell dash help command. To run direct queries from shell using the dash q option, you can say Impala shell dash q and provide the necessary query as select star from Coso IT. Now if you want to issue a use database on startup using dash d option that also is provided by impala shell dash d giving the name of the database. Now 
the history command in impala will let you display the last 10 commands that are executed in the shell then the profile command it displays the low level information about the recent query and this command is used for diagnosis and performance tuning of a query Finally, for creating table in Impala, it's quite similar to SQL table creation. We will say create table, table name, and then provide the necessary data types and the field names. And stored as par key, which is the file format. Let us do a simple hands-on on creating a table in Impala. Let us open up our terminal in Cloudera VF. First, I would like to show you how you can directly give some commands within Impala shell. Impala shell dash help. Then Impala shell. You can also run directly queries from this command. Impala shell dash q. So you can select star from IPL and get the de details from directly using the command impala shell dash q command. Now let us start impala shell. Now we have started our impala shell. We can run the SQL related commands on this shell. First, let us create a database. Database is created. Now, let us run the command show databases. These are the databases present here. Now let us create a table in this database my underscore db. Use my underscore db. Now let us create a table. Create table. If not exists. Let us assume we have fields name and age. So name is of type string and age is of type int. Let us run the query select star from student. So it is empty. So this is how we create a table in Impala. We can also use Hue file browser for writing Impala queries. In Hue file browser, let us go to query editor. Here we have Hive and Impala both. Let us go to Impala. Here we can see the tables present out here in our default database. Here also we can create a database. Create database. Let us execute this query. So this is how through Impala query editor we can run the SQL commands. Let us understand how a query execution proceeds in Impala. So whenever user passes a query, this is accepted by one of the Impala D's in the cluster. This Impala D is treated as a coordinator for that particular query. 
and after receiving the query the query coordinator verifies whether the query is appropriate using the table schema from the hive meta store later it collects the information about the location of the data that is required to execute the query from hdfs name node and send this information to other impala ds in order to execute the query so this is how we create database and table in impala shell and also using hue browser thanks a lot for watching our impala tutorial for the next step for more tutorials please subscribe to our youtube channel or you can also register for in depth big data training on www.cosoit.com